Ever wondered if it's possible to harness the power of an entire star to fuel a super intelligent machine? Welcome to the enigma of intelligence, where the boundaries of the conceivable meet the limits of the cosmos. Picture a megastructure, a matryoshka brain, a concept proposed by the forward-thinking Robert Bradbury. This isn't your everyday run-of-the-mill computer. No, this is a computer of astronomical proportions, literally. Drawing inspiration from the Dyson Sphere, a hypothetical structure proposed to harness the power of a star, the Matryoshka brain takes this idea a step further. Instead of simply capturing a star's energy, it utilizes this energy to power an unfathomably large and complex computer. This is a computer that dwarfs planets and rivals stars in size. A computer that could hold and process an amount of information so vast it defies comprehension. Imagine a computer larger than planets, even stars, drawing its energy directly from a stellar body. The term Matryoshka brain is derived from Russian nesting dolls known as Matryoshka dolls. But why? Well, the answer lies in the design of both. A Matryoshka brain, much like the Matryoshka dolls, is a set of nested entities. However, instead of carved wooden dolls, the Matryoshka brain is composed of multiple Dyson spheres. These spheres, much like the dolls, nest within each other, each one smaller than the last, all centered around a single star. Now, if you're wondering what a Dyson sphere is, it's a hypothetical megastructure that is built to encompass a star entirely to capture and utilize its energy output. The concept was first proposed by physicist and mathematician Freeman Dyson, hence the name. So, within a Matryoshka brain, each Dyson sphere harnesses a portion of the star's energy. The innermost sphere, closest to the star, receives the most energy, while the outermost sphere receives the least. This tiered energy distribution is akin to the descending sizes of Matryoshka dolls, where each doll is a world within a world, and each sphere is a universe within a universe. But what does a Matryoshka brain do with all this energy? It uses it to power computations. Imagine the most powerful supercomputer you can think of, and then multiply its capabilities billions or even trillions of times over. That's the kind of computational power we're talking about. Each Dyson sphere within the Matryoshka brain would be filled with computational substrate, essentially transforming the entire system into a gigantic, star-powered computer. The energy from the star fuels the computations, which could range from simulating entire universes to solving complex problems beyond our current comprehension. In essence, a Matryoshka brain is a testament to the boundless potential of intelligence. It's a concept that pushes the limits of our imagination, offering a glimpse into what advanced civilizations could potentially achieve. Just like the dolls, each sphere within a Matryoshka brain is a world within a world, each layer contributing to the unimaginable computational power of the whole. What could be the purpose of such a colossal computational power that a Matryoshka brain represents? A question that can make even the most brilliant minds ponder. Imagine a system so vast, it could simulate entire universes down to the last quark. This isn't just about creating virtual realities as we know them, but full-blown universes with their own physics, chemistry, and potentially life. Yes, you heard it right, life, albeit in a simulated form. This could be a new way to explore the possibilities of existence, a sort of cosmic sandbox. But it doesn't stop there. A Matryoshka brain could potentially support uploaded minds. In other words, your consciousness could be digitized and uploaded into this immense system. This raises profound ethical and philosophical questions. Would these uploaded minds be considered alive? What rights would they have? And what would it mean for our understanding of life and death? Moreover, a Matryoshka brain could be used to power superintelligent entities. These could be artificial intelligences that exceed human intelligence by orders of magnitude. The implications are staggering. Such entities could solve problems we can't even comprehend, or they could pose risks we can't anticipate. The potential of a Matryoshka brain is as awe-inspiring as it is terrifying. It's a testament to the power of intelligence and technology, a symbol of what civilizations could achieve. But it also forces us to grapple with questions we've never had to answer before. What if our universe is a simulation run on a Matryoshka brain? What if we are the uploaded minds? And what if the superintelligent entities are already here, silently observing or subtly influencing us? These are not just idle speculations. They are serious considerations that could shape our future, our ethics, and our understanding of reality. The Matryoshka brain presents possibilities that challenge our understanding of reality, intelligence, and life itself. So let's continue this journey of exploration for who knows what we might discover next. Could a Matryoshka brain ever become a reality or is it purely the stuff of science fiction? This question has intrigued scientists and sci-fi enthusiasts alike for decades. 
To answer it, we must first consider the monumental technological and material challenges involved in constructing a matryoshka brain. The first hurdle is the advancement of nanotechnology. A matryoshka brain isn't your average supercomputer. It's a structure of mind-boggling complexity, requiring a level of technological precision and miniaturization that's far beyond what we currently possess. We're talking about the ability to manipulate matter at the atomic level, to construct computational components smaller than the width of a human hair. Then there's the issue of materials. To build a matryoshka brain, you'd need astronomical amounts of matter. Think about it. We're talking about a structure that could potentially encompass an entire star. Where would we get all that matter? One possibility is to disassemble planets, asteroids, or even entire solar systems. But that's a task of such immense scale and complexity, it's hard to fathom with our current understanding and capabilities. This brings us to the concept of a Kardashev Type II civilization, First proposed by Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev, this is a civilization that has reached a level of technological advancement where it can harness the entire energy output of its star. Such a civilization would have the resources and capabilities necessary to construct a matryoshka brain. But humanity is currently estimated to be at a Kardashev Type 0.7 civilization. We have a long way to go before we reach Type 2. So could a matryoshka brain ever become a reality? As of now, it seems more like a thought experiment, a vision of what might be possible given enough time and technological advancement. But who knows what the future holds? While currently beyond our reach, the Matryoshka brain remains a fascinating concept, a testament to the boundless potential of intelligence and technology.